So, 2020. I won't even go into the details. We all faced it and here we are. Today, I'd like to share three lessons that were reinforced for me last year. Three lessons that can help you to make 2021 all the things that 2020 wasn't. Curious? Then join me as we tap back in together. Those four digits conjure up so many different things for all of us. For, for some, it's emotions, deep-seated fear or uncertainty. For others, it's a sense of loss, opportunities, moments, and, and even people. And for all of us, it's a sense of pure uncertainty. None of us saw 2020 coming, and for many, it felt like, <laughs> like it would never end. 2021 represents hope, but at the same time, it's a sense of hesitancy. What will tomorrow bring? Will 2021 be better or more of the same? And it is with that that I'd like to share three things that I learned in 2020. And I know I'll leverage for a better 2021, and I believe that you, you can do the same. First, it always works out, every time. Sure, horrible things that are hard to bounce back from happen, but that doesn't mean we can't turn them around. It doesn't mean that there isn't something to learn or an opportunity to grow if we look hard enough. My 2020 started five days early on December 26, 2019, when my wife and I had a miscarriage. It was a mighty blow to our family, and yet exactly 11 months later, on October 26, 2020, we welcomed a beautiful, healthy, and happy baby girl. For a time, it looked impossible. All was dark. We found our way and it worked out. The second lesson is about fear, and it's quite simple. Fear that is not born out of life or death is selfish. Last year, we as a people had something to fear, something that was real, tangible, and in some cases, life-threatening. It was not something that we shouldn't fear. It was worth fearing. However, how often do we fear things that aren't worth the fear? Asking that person out, committing to eating healthy and exercising and working out more, going back to school. The trick I've learned is that when you let these types of fears hold you back, you're being selfish. You're holding your best self back because you are afraid of failing or looking foolish. In 2021, make a commitment to fear less. Unless you are in mortal danger, let the fear go. Which leads me to the last lesson of 2020. When you do ultimately make the choice to let go of the fear and commit to whatever New Year's goals, you have two options. You can limp or leap to meet these goals. You can say, yeah, I'll lose the weight tomorrow. You can start your exercise plan strong today only to get sidetracked by technology or some other stumbling block that allows you to let it take over your attention and focus. Or you can leap. You can go all in and commit to yourself what is in front of you, burning your boats and leaving them behind so you have no other option but to take the island that is in front of you, the island of whatever success you are looking to achieve. The funny thing is that 2020 was a leap year and for many of us, it felt like a step backwards. It felt like we stumbled around and we limped from milestone to milestone, from setback to disappointment. In 2021, I challenge you to keep those three things in front of you. It always works out. Fear that is not born out of life and death is selfish. And you need to make the choice to either limp or leap through life. Mary Tyler Moore said, pain nourishes courage. You can't be brave if you've only had wonderful things happen to you. Well, we all had a lot of pain in 2020. I'd say we have all had our fair share of nourishment for our courage to last a lifetime. Let's put it to good use. You see, life can either be a wet stone or a wet blanket. A wet stone sharpens us, hones us so that we can be our best, while a wet blanket smothers us and drowns our potential. 2020 is no different. It can be a wet blanket that douses our courage and our hopes, or it can be a wet stone that sharpens us. 2020 may have been a leap year, but I challenge you to keep these three thoughts firmly in play this year as you make 2021 your leap year, as you leap into the best life out of the ashes that was the dumpster fire of 2020. You've got this. Leap.
and tap back in.